What's up folks? This is a short video to show how you can sync files and videos or music effortlessly and seamlessly between a Mac and a Windows machine. Your Windows machine can be running Windows 7 or Windows 8 or the upcoming latest OS system from Microsoft which is Windows 10. Your Mac system has to be on OS X UC might. Your iOS devices have to be in case if you want to access the same files on them on iOS 8. Now the tool that we are going to go ahead and use for this is iCloud Drive. As you all know iCloud Drive is now fully available and it's completely functional. The simple and easiest way is you know when you go ahead and have your Mac or you know your iTunes account or your App Store account set up in your iTunes account you have to go ahead and have your iCloud app I guess and then uh, in your iCloud account all you have to do is to go ahead and upgrade it to iCloud drive level and you can only upgrade that to the level of having an iCloud drive if you are having a Yosemite operating system for a Mac a MacBook Pro a MacBook Air or an iMac and at the same time having iOS 8 on the mobile devices of Apple which is the iPad, iPad Air, your iPad mini, an iPhone or the latest generation of iPods. Now having said that to show you an example if you go ahead and look in the finder of your uh, you know Mac you would actually under your favorites you would have iCloud Drive. If you can see I'm also using Dropbox but my Dropbox actually has a limited amount of space. I did not upgrade it by paying money for it. But my iCloud Drive, I've actually upgraded to actually uh, to have a 200 GB of data in cloud. This actually helps me to effortlessly sync between my Mac and my Windows machine without you know worrying anything about it. Now, since this is actually native to Mac, the iCloud Drive, it stores files in a format which is slightly familiar with the or uh, familiar to you folks when you use a Mac is that all the files of a particular app are stored in that particular app area folder okay for example all the files which are for QuickTime player are stored under QuickTime similar it is for keynote numbers or pages now if you don't like the Apple way of filing and if you want to go ahead and use your own way of filing then you can create your folders any number of them that you want for example I've gone ahead and created a folder let's call it work dash one and let's have two more layers of folders just to reconquer things and show that it can do a layered sync also now I basically have two layers down of this folders now once I go ahead and create this folders in iCloud Drive there is no need for me to go ahead and click anywhere else to actually start the sync. The sync happens automatically as long as your Mac is connected to an internet connection whether over LAN or by using a hotspot or by using a Wi-Fi. Now the next section I would show you on a Windows 7 machine how does it look to go ahead and have an iCloud drive and ensure the sync works. And to, before we go ahead for the Windows machine, I just wanted to show you all how much work an iCloud drive cost you because many of you all might be thinking, hey, what, what, is, what is the cost of an iCloud drive? Right? Let me just go ahead and do a quick search for that. I have an iCloud drive up here and then when you go ahead and have all the stuff you can just basically scroll down, scroll down and you, have, you can go ahead and manage it how much of it you are actually using and saving in terms of pricing and you click on this particular link so you basically have a free one which is actually for 5 GB but obviously this is going to get filled very fast if because the same iCloud space 
is being used between iCloud Drive and it is being used to have your phone backups and if you are going ahead and doing a contacts or mail backup, it's all going to be used for it. Okay, it's the same amount of space which is being used for it and shared across devices. So you have a 20 GB upgrade, you have a 200 GB, you have a 500 GB or one terabyte of iCloud storage. Now, when you go ahead and actually try to look for prices on it, you can see here that these are prices for your monthly subscription. So you would be built monthly on your credit card, which is linked to your Apple ID because this is all based on your Apple ID. So once you go ahead and log in using an Apple ID, you can go ahead and actually access your iCloud Drive. Now you can also access your iCloud Drive on a web browser from any machine, whether it is a Linux machine or a Windows machine or a Mac machine or a Unix machine by going into the iCloud Drive website and keying in your Apple ID, user ID and password. Now, if you look in terms of prices in the US, I basically have a 200 GB uh, subscription. So it's like four US dollars for US or in different other currencies. I mean, if you look for something like India, it's basically 250 rupees a month. And if you go ahead and look, say in, in UK, it's like uh, close to three pounds a month. In Australia, it's like $5 a month. In Indonesia, it's like 45,000 rupiah. Okay, in Japanese, it's like 400 yen and in Singapore, it's basically close to $5 a month. Similarly, in New Zealand, it's $5 a month. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and also take an annual subscription fee for it. Okay, in terms of euros for a 200 GB, it's still 4 euros. So, looks like that's consistent irrespective of the currency differences between various currencies. Okay. Okay, in the next section, we'll go ahead and actually look at on a Windows machine, how do you go ahead and set up iCloud Drive and then start syncing your files effortlessly? So folks, on your Windows machine, whether it is Windows 8 or a Windows 7 machine, you can just go into Google and search for download iCloud for Windows. You get this particular link, set up and use for iCloud for Windows, which is from Apple. Please go ahead and open it. Of course, you need to have an Apple ID. Now you have to go ahead and download it from here. This is a link. Let me just go ahead and download it. Oops, looks like you have an internet issue there. And there we go. So download starts. Now once you go ahead and download, you have to go ahead and set it up by using your Apple user ID and password. And please do remember, you have to use the same Apple ID and password that you have used on your Mac operating system. And that is how you can actually sync between your Mac, that is basically Yosemite uh, folders of iCloud Drive and the iCloud Drive, which is actually present on your Windows 7 or a Windows 8 machine. So if I just double click that, run anyway. Just try to accept, install. Yes. So the installation of iCloud is happening, which is fresh. So there is no need for you to do a separate installation for iCloud Drive. The moment you install iCloud, by default, you would actually have iCloud Drive along with it. So let's go ahead and click Finish. It says you need to actually restart apps now. I need not do it now. And then let me just go ahead and look for iCloud. There we go, that's the iCloud there. Now let me click it. It's opened up here. Now here, you have to key in your Apple user ID and password. I'm going to go ahead and key in my Apple user ID and password because that is what we have actually used earlier on the Yosemite Mac system. 
and I'm not going to show you all that. My user ID and password. Okay. Okay, so once you go ahead and actually sign in using your Apple user ID and password, you actually have a bunch of options which is shown here. It is iCloud Drive, Photos, and Bookmarks with Chrome. Now, if you have Chrome installed on your Windows machine and your Mac machine, you can sync it out there. If you want, you can sync some photos. But most importantly, the iCloud Drive has to have a tick mark on it. Of course, it does show you the amount of storage space. And then that's it. Just say apply. That's it. Now, when I go ahead and actually open my Windows Explorer, I actually have an iCloud Drive file on the left hand side automatically appearing. Now, when I click on my iCloud Drive, everything which was actually present in the iCloud Drive will actually appear here. Now, as here, you can see that my iCloud Drive is getting synced. And there is no need for me to go ahead and start the syncing. As long as I have a decent internet connection, the link, the download automatically starts. The iCloud, uh, the iCloud drive does its job and starts syncing all the folders right up here. Now, what I'm waiting for here is the work one folder that we created on the Mac as an experiment for this particular video. And I'm just waiting for that to get synced in here. Hey folks, after quite some time having both the systems on the same network because that's what I learned from one of the blogs is that if you have both the Mac as well as the Windows machine on the same network, the iCloud drive syncs much more faster. Okay. Now having said that, it took me roughly around 4 hours to have 50 GB of data sync. Now the reason for that amount of time, I really don't know. If any of you all know, please do let me know. Having said that, you can, as you can see, this is the, uh, you know, the work one uh, folder that we have created on the Mac machine, and now we have here on the Windows machine. Now, if we just basically go a couple of layers into it, you can see it has one, two, three folder and ABC folder. Now, this is how effectively and simply you can actually sync files between your Mac machine and your Windows machine without running any scripts or without having any additional drives. Now, if you want to still go back and run some scripts and do drives, it's completely your choice. Please go ahead and do that. And if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a like or a thumbs up and a virtual high five from my end. And at the same time, if you have any comments or suggestions, please go ahead and let us know. Thank you very much and have a nice day.